Hello everyone. Okay, this is a a TV guard. You can as well use it for refrigerator and any kind of a 13 amp socket or any appliances that can be used in a 13 amps socket. Now this one has just stopped showing light. I think it has stopped bringing light. There is no connect. If, if you if you connect it to a socket, it does not show any sign that it is connected to a socket. So I think something is wrong with it. So this has happened to most of my um, um, TV guard I bought before, especially this type. Especially this type. So it has always spoiled. Like this one I'm using here right now. This one is another one. This one has been working fine. It doesn't spoil like that. But this particular one. This particular one, I don't know if it's always spot and it seems cheaper, but it always have issues. So I don't know whether it's. Um, I've already bought some, and when it's spoiled, I try losing it and checking it inside. I found out that it has nothing to do with any component, everything are intact. So I couldn't find the fault. I had to throw it away and get a new one. But this time around, I won't have studied this, and I found out that this fault is not from the component. I'm gonna show you right now. So while opening it, I discovered I troubleshoot. I did some troubleshooting and I discovered the fault. Every other components are correct. The fault is not um, from any of the components because everything are good and in good shape. And I have that running some tests with my multimeter. I couldn't find the fault, so I had to plug it and troubleshoot uh, um, sequentially. Then uh, I troubleshoot sequentially while it is being plugged. On, on, on two power so and I discovered that the fault is from this angle this angle that is soldering the soldering here that was not so die properly so it could not pass energy power so that was why it could not it could not give supply let me plug it in so that you see what I'm talking about as you can see it's plugged in now the socket is on now this place I'm testing here there's no supply here. It's no more there's supply here because this place is where we give out the output. When the relay switches, it will pass the current here. But here is the input current. There's supply. There's no supply. Fine. Here, there's supply. That means this 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 terminal. That means the the whole thing is working. It brought the it the relay everything. Send the supply to this place. That means there's supply here. But there's no supply here to complete the circuit. And without supply, it cannot work. And because of that, and why there's no supply here is because there is a terminal under this place. The thing was not, it was the solder was, did not come to it. Like it, this iron that is here, this iron that I'm touching now, it is not well soldered. So if I try to force it, bend it, it will show. If I remove it, it will off. So that's when I discovered that it is from here. And most of these uh, devices have this factory error. Because the 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 they soldered it and they did not solder it properly, so the connection was not proper. So at the time, it will start uh, doing partial contact. So when I hold it, it will connect. And if I should leave for a couple of times, say uh, five seconds, let's see five seconds, whether it will switch, whether the relay will switch and give us supply. It's like this ten second countdown that this one does. Has switched, it is not giving supply now. It's not giving supply, so so that is it. So I discovered that this is the force. I'm gonna soda it now properly. I'm gonna add more sodium lead to that point. I soda it properly. I discovered also that this thing seems like not the original one because, as you can see, there is a bypass um, um, button here, overload delay, it's a bypass, bypass button here, and that reset button. That's a reset button. But right here, the reset button is supposed to operate on this point around this point. Because when you fix this, you find out that the point is supposed to be operated around this point. But there's no any button or any component that shows or any switch here that the button will control. So you see that this is fake. This button is fake. It's fake because it is not controlling any switch here. It is just here for fancy. It's just here for fancy. So I just discovered that now. So next time I'm buying, I'm gonna, I'm gonna consider that when buying this kind of stuff next time. So with this, let me do the work and test.
can see the point I'm talking about. See this point. The contact is not strong. That's the point that is making the the thing not to connect. Contact is not strong. So I'm gonna add more soldering lead here to ensure this contact is connect is, is strong. Then we'll try it. I'm sorry about the arrangement and the safety. I'm at home. This is my bedroom, so that's why everything is cut like this. There's no safety equipment here or correct uh, working tools here. So, as you can see, it has been sold out. So, let's give it a try. So, it's plugged in now. Let's try to switch in 3D. It's working. It's working. So, this is how you can fix something like this if if your power surge or surge arrestor is having this kind of problem you can always troubleshoot like this you can troubleshoot this way then maybe this default fix it you can believe this kind of default that this kind of uh, surge arrestor always have now it's passing light so here i can have supply now i can have supply now see so thank you for watching and i hope you can be able to fix yours if he has this kind of issue bye bye